What's going on everybody? Gamer King Tario here. We've got another PlayStation Vita video for you guys. Today we're going to take a closer look at Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Vita. It was released today and we're going to go ahead and look at the graphics a little bit, answer some of the questions that were left on the Vita Talk video. I asked you guys to leave me questions. I'm going to go ahead and try to answer them the best I can about Need for Speed and really just an excuse to look at some of the gameplay footage that I've captured uh, over the last few hours. So before we get to my personal impressions, I asked you guys to leave comments or questions on the Vita Talk video. Uh, thankfully, some of you guys actually did do that, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some of those questions right quick. So the first question from Big Apple Sketches 1 are, how are the Need for Speed graphics? The short answer is good, but not great. There are certain sections of the city when you're driving by that look absolutely spectacular, and there's other parts of the city or when you're driving that it looks downright terrible. Very much the same issue that Assassin's Creed Liberation runs into, and in that you can tell that so much of the resources is going towards the open world that they're not able to get the consistency of the beauty all around. There are some areas that look absolutely spectacular, some of the cars look really, really nice, but then you'll turn a corner and you'll end up in this really blocky, murky, PS2 looking section. The next question is from Curtis, and he states, The Need for Speed reviews have stated less traffic, but your gameplay showed that there is literally no traffic, and it even looks like midday. How much traffic is there actually? The answer is not much. I mean, there is traffic, there is oncoming traffic, and you will run into other cars if you're not paying attention, but there isn't enough traffic to make it feel like a giant metropolitan city. There certainly isn't any kind of gridlock or anything that you're going to run into when you're going downtown or anything like that. There is cars coming here and there but it's definitely sporadic it's definitely one of those things that they felt they needed to cut down on to make sure that it was able to run on the vita the last question is from rome randy and he asked does need for speed most wanted vita have versus multiplayer and how exactly is the feel of the gameplay i believe you can challenge a friend to a versus multiplayer match though i'm not sure i didn't have any friends who were online who actually had the game but the way the general multiplayer works in Need for Speed is you're dropped into a free roam environment with three other players. It's four player multiplayer and you kind of get to roam around and pick your car and do all sorts of other stuff and then eventually someone will go over to where the race begins and it'll teleport everyone over there and then you can go through a race or you can go through all sorts of other events and stuff. I've played quite a few multiplayer matches already today and I've had an absolute blast doing some. I thought the four player would be a little a little shallow and it can feel that way at times since there's only three other people that are playing with you but I've actually really enjoyed the races that I've had so far. As for the second part of your question how exactly is the feel of the gameplay that kind of goes into my impressions and so far I would have to say fun. You know yes if you compared this side by side with the PC version or the PS3 version you could nitpick the Vita to death with all these shortcomings that it would have but the fact is it's a really pretty racer and it races really well on the PlayStation Vita. I'm actually having a really good time with it. I did not own a racer on my Vita. I think I have 26, 27 games for the Vita and none of them were a racer. So this was my first racer and I'm glad that I picked it up. I'm really enjoying it so far. So that's it for the impression slash Q&A. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out, answer some of your questions and you enjoyed the gameplay footage of Need for Speed on the Vita. I'm going to go start making some Lego Lord of the Rings Vita videos. If you guys want to see more Need for Speed Vita videos, you guys need to leave me comments below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thank everybody for hitting those sub buttons and hitting those like buttons. They let me know where I want to direct my channel. And that's it. Uh, more videos to come later on in the evening. And have a great day. Take care. Bye.